all right you guys um welcome to another little reaction slash giving my thoughts this is the uh ps um vr i guess two i never got the first one because i never really just i just wasn't into the vr scene but somewhere along the line i might end up copping it sometime next year you know uh, maybe next year, but I'm I'm not copying it this year. But um, I kind of want to do like a little reaction because this is kind of like they're doing like a little unboxing, and uh, Sony typically does this like even with the uh, PS5, they did a, like an unboxing before it came out. So that's pretty much what this is. But uh, without further ado, you guys, let's kind of just uh, hop into it real quick. <coughs> the product manager for PlayStation VR 2. PSVR 2 has brought a dramatic evolution to the virtual reality gaming experience thanks to the innovative PSVR 2 Sense technology and it's designed to be comfortable and easy to use at the same time. We can't wait for everyone to feel a new dimension of play. I'd like to give you a walkthrough of PSVR 2 today while unboxing the product. Here is the PSVR Okay, I like the box and uh, the marketing on the box and looks good. But Sony typically puts a box within a box. Yep, see? Another box. of two layers. The PlayStation shapes design triangle, circle, close, square that surround the white box is inspired by the concept of oh okay so it got they got like the little space. the little um unboxing. circle the x and square box, buttons on the sides box containing the accessories you need for setup the instruction manual uh, nobody ain't gonna read that USB cable for charging and carrying the controllers Step headphones that plug into the VR headset and a set of headphone earpieces are included. Okay, so stereo headphones are included, that's good. Small, Not so separately. And large, with the medium size be installed on the headphones. These earpieces can be swapped out for the size that best fits you. Next, we have the PSVR 2 headset and both left and right PSVR 2 Sense controllers. Oh, I thought it didn't come with the controllers. I thought it was sold separately. But it actually comes with the controllers. Alright, cool. The inside of the box uses powerpoint from fast glowing sugar cane and bamboo. Okay, so they're making sure that it's intact when it's being delivered. To be as environmentally friendly as possible, such as using paper based cable ties and minimal use of plastic packaging. The PSVR2 headset comes with one cable, as you can see. When connecting to PlayStation 5, you can simply plug it into the USB Type C port. I'm liking the demonstration. But I don't like the fact that it plugs in the front with the USB because that's going to be like people. My bad, you guys. I had to pause for a minute. The thing that they showed right there where you having to plug that USB, like, because, like, in the front, like, you know, with the PS5, it got, it kind of has like a glossy uh, type finish and you constantly stabbing that in there i could see a lot of future you know uh problems with that you know with plugging that in there and then scratches along the side of the port when you're trying to plug it in there and you might miss it and kind of stab it up against the little glossy part so and then because i'm like if it's the second one because it's like a little a little chip i could see like real issues like somebody really forcing it and and they could probably chip it while trying to put it in there so i don't know if i too much like that i think i wish they would have came up with a better idea to like um do like a little wireless like little plug-in study having it wired it would have been nice if you could just plug it in and it has like just a little wireless one instead of it just being all wired like that the world of virtual reality as soon as you want to play let me explain more about the VR headset there is a headphone adjustment dial 
and the headband with this button behind the headband. This I used to take it down and take off the headset. The scope also has various buttons. Let's start from the top side of the scope. Oh, okay, so I got some buttons on the top. Button. You can move the scope back and forth while oh, pressing this button. That's cool, so, so you can move it, adjust it from your face if it's this too close. This is the new lens adjustment dial we added to PSBR2. A land adjustment dial. Okay, that's cool. The distance. Oh, okay. So you can adjust it to your liking. If it's too close or you want it far away. To be aligned with your eye positions, ensuring a clear image. Now, let's look at the bottom side of the scope. This button at the center is the power button. This is the microphone. Oh, okay, that's the microphone. Okay, so it's built in right there by the power button. That's cool. Without additional external equipment. This button here is the function button. Pressing this button switches the view from the game screen to the see-through view screen. Oh, that's cool. to easily see what is going on around you in the real world while wearing the VR headset. Oh, that's really cool way to find your controllers or place them down. Next up is the PSVR2 Sense Controllers. Most left and right controllers are included in the box. When using the controller, please be sure to strap it on. Those controllers First, look like it'll be really good going with like a VR shooting game, just the way that they're made. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Wii little dongles that you had with the Wii console. So it kind of reminds me of, but like future proof. The PS buttons are on both left and right controllers. They don't have directional keys, but have left and right sticks on each side. Yeah, I could already see that the trick, the way it's set up, it's gonna be, it's gonna work really good with shooting games. VR games and the way they got it set left, up. And the circle and close buttons on the right. On the left controller, we have the create button. And on the right controller, we have the option button. Let's look at the back of the controllers. These left and right trigger buttons located at the index finger position are the L2 and R2 buttons. These three buttons located at the middle. Okay, so you got the R1. Are the L1. L1 and, and R1. Buttons. Okay. Next, we have the stereo headphones. Set them on the headset like this before using PSVR2. When the headphones are not in use, the oh, it's like a little pocket for the earbuds to go in. That's cool. They really thought of everything. that come with the system. You can also use your own spare headphones. Now, I will demonstrate how to wear the VR headset. Place the scope adjustment button and pull the scope all the way out. Place the headband with this button on the back to unlock the headband. While placing this button, pull the headband back. Oh yeah, there's some people that's gonna have some big heads. So that's pretty cool that it scratches all the way like <laughs> it scratches all the way back like that. Cause some people got some big heads. So it one and one size fit all, right? To tighten the headband and lock it in position. If you want to loosen the headband, place the headband with this button in the middle to unlock it. Place the scope adjustment button to bring the scope closer to your face. Then, adjust the distance between the lenses using the lens adjustment dial and find the position where the screen appears the clearest. To enjoy PSVR2 comfortably, it is very important to find the right position for you. Adjust the headband position, the forward-backward position, the angle of the score and the distance between the lenses for the best comfort and vision. You can also use. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of time to just get the headphones, the, the headset just to your liking, the lenses to your liking. That's going to take a. Next up, it's going to take some adjustment. The VR headset. While pressing the scope adjustment button, pull the scope all the way outward. 
press the headband release button to unlock and loosen the headband. While removing the headband, take it off like this. There is one last thing I would like to share with you. This box is designed to be able to store PSVR 2. So you can store it for future purposes. So I can see a lot of people throwing this box away. But the way they set it up, it's like you can keep using it to put it back in the box and keep it in the box. PSVR 2 incorporates many innovations, such as a product design, box, new C-through view function, and lens distance adjustments, so that everyone can play comfortably. We hope you enjoy the amazing virtual reality gaming experience and feel a new deal through PlayStation VR 2. <coughs> All right, you guys, that was uh, the PSVR 2. Uh, let me know if you cop in that, you know, day one. Me, I'm not really trying to cop it day one. I mean, eventually, like I said, sometime, maybe next year, I'll, you know, give it a go. Um, but for right now, for me, it's a, you know, it's not a, a pass. Um Cause I'm still gonna get it maybe sometime next year, but I, I just feel like right now with the selection of VR games that's coming out, it's not too many that I'm interested in, and it's like only one. It's the Horizon um, DLC, but it's uh, the VR, you know. It you, but that's the only one. So I'm just like, mm, until they come out with some more exciting more big vr titles then you know that's why i want to wait until next year uh really you guys because i feel like next year i have like a whole bunch of uh titles i could go through and you know just just instead of just having horizon and then you got the rest to be like some mediocre mediocre uh vr titles you know so yeah that's that's my reason why i'm trying to see about maybe next year but y'all let me know down in the comments are y'all getting it day one is it a wait for a sale or I mean, it ain't going to be no to be honest, it ain't going to be no sale no time soon because I mean, they just about to launch this thing. So but is it going to be a day one cop or is it going to be uh, I might wait, you know, for a better time to pick it up. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think about uh, today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Um, also, if you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button. And on that note, you guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.